From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Joy Ngoz Iziello steps into worlds she wishes she didn't have to. At this immigration detention center in Turin, Italy, she meets victims of a heinous trade, the trafficking of human beings. We know we have had transatlantic slavery, and that ended over 200 years ago, that now we have new forms of slavery, and human trafficking is part of that. Human trafficking is a modern-day slavery. Joy, from Nigeria, is an attorney and a university professor tasked by the United Nations Office of the High Commission for Human Rights to examine the global trafficking of human beings. As an independent expert, she works without pay and, at times, at great personal risk. Now, at the invitation of the Italian government, she's on a 10-day visit, traveling the country to meet the concerned authorities as well as women and girls, victims of trafficking. Pamela is one of them. The man that told me that her sister in Europe, in Italy, need a babysitter, was a friend to my sister. Pamela trusted the family friend who promised her a well-paying nanny job, a work visa, and a plane ticket to Italy. But instead, when she eventually arrived in Italy, she found herself forced into prostitution to pay off the cost of her journey. My first day at work, I, I went to White. I just went in a corner to stay. I cried, I just, I just cried because I've never, done, I've never done such a thing before in my life. Pamela's predicament, like that of thousands like her, went undetected. Had she been asked the right questions by the authorities, she could have been identified as a victim of trafficking and, under Italian law, would have been afforded protection. Immigration defense lawyer Guido Savio. Each year, as part of her work as the Human Rights Special Rapporteur on Trafficking, Joy delivers detailed reports to the United Nations General Assembly or the Human Rights Council, sharing findings and making practical recommendations to combat human trafficking. Trafficking in persons requires a multilateral and multidisciplinary response, and no single country or entity can combat it alone. Pamela was finally able to escape her trafficker and was provided protection by the Italian authorities and the right to stay in the country. But for Joy, who is the moral voice for those who can't speak for themselves, the fight continues. I think it's gone on far too long that we must say no, stand up, speak out, end it, and that way we can stamp out uh, human trafficking in this uh, modern day slavery. This report was produced by Austin Haberley for the United Nations.